Homo erectus had human-like gait and body proportions. It lived in the Pleistocene about 1.9 to 1.5 million years ago. Compared to earlier hominins, erectus had a relatively flat face, but were the first to have a projecting nose, possibly used for determining the direction of different smells. Compared to earlier species, Homo erectus had an increase in brain size and larger cranium. The cranium increased over time to encase a larger brain. Early hominins such as Australopithecus afarensis and Australopithecus africanus had much smaller cranial capacity than Homo erectus and Homo neanderthalensis. Brain size is believed to have initially increased in response to a high energy and nutrient-rich diet, followed by cultural evolution, including tool making, use of fire, language development and hunting that then accelerated its expansion. Larger brains and taller bodies require more energy. However, the teeth found in Homo erectus suggest that it was capable of eating a varied and omnivorous diet. The size and shape of the mandible became smaller and lighter over time. This was because it did not have to support large teeth. The Homo erectus skull reveals many other human-like features. The absence of a sagittal crest, a mandible which is clearly smaller than earlier hominins, and the absence of a nuchal crest. The sagittal crest was required for the attachment of large temporalis jaw muscles. The size of the sagittal crest decreased over time as the diet shifted towards food which did not require grinding tough plant material and therefore not needing the muscle power that went along with that. Paranthropus boisei, for example, had a very prominent sagittal crest due to a diet of fibrous plant material and hard abrasive nuts and seeds that required a lot of grinding on the molars and large temporalis muscles to support this. 